All right, it's a little redundant, um, but someone had a really good month and someone had a decent month. I'm not. I'll just let you guess which one. You can uh, put your uh, put it in the comments what you think. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. Uh, and today we are going to whiskey haul it up. We're going to do it a little bit different today, though. Yeah, so we'll do we'll do a quick intro on it, and then we'll do it separate, because this past month was crazy in September. Uh, we will be dropping a full video of doing like a little whiskey adventure for Bourbon Heritage Month. Yeah. Um, but it was wild. It was a lot. Yeah. It was like a lot, a lot. With all that being said, uh, we are very fortunate with it being Bourbon Heritage Month. And I really think all the distilleries stepped up, a lot of the liquor stores stepped up, did a really good job. I think from... You went on vacation for half the yeah, month. I think for from last year to this year, the Bourbon Heritage, the Bourbon Heritage Month ended up... They ended up being doing it better this year. A thousand way, percent. Way better. Thousand and even percent. like, even like the, the Bourbon Festival ended up doing it Way, way better, better than yep. what they had done it before, and so all in all, way to get smart. Um, <laughs> I mean, you gave the to, people what they wanted. You, you, you gave them bourbon. Yeah, kudos. Yeah, good job. Uh, there will be so. With that being said, he was gone for like I said, like half a month. So he hunting bourbon was not on your game. You were out uh, in Utah and Arizona, doing and all kinds of stuff, man. Wherever yeah. else you went to. Yeah. Um, so we'll do these kind of separate so that way we can kind of get through them a little quicker. That way I don't feel as bad about myself. Stop um, it. as he acts like he had a terrible month. No, I had a fine month. You only had, you only got one terrible bottle. Yeah. And that was just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll let you figure out which one yeah. is terrible. Uh, so anyways, turn on likes, notifications, yeah. hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. Uh, always helpful for us. So. All right. Well, here's the deal. I'm going to go first because I have probably 30 less bottles than uh, Zach has this month. It was a crazy month for him. Got 41. <laughs> Kudos uh, to my brother. Uh, he was hunting like uh, it was his job uh, this month. So uh, I'm still, with that being said, I'm still excited what, what I got for the most part. I got one thing. We'll see if we're excited about it or not. Uh, uh, I'll just start with uh, our Barrel uh, Brothers. Uh, they are very kind to us, always. And so uh, they sent us some stuff to sample, and we're happy to, to sample that kind of stuff, and we just appreciate kind of really their partnership with us at this point. Um, they probably sent us a, a half dozen things over over the last year and a half or so and we're just appreciative we we love reviewing their stuff we love their stuff um and we're just uh, always excited about whatever they send us matter of fact we got a couple in the hopper right now that uh, i don't should be interesting when we decide to review those for sure so thanks barrel uh next on the list is a little baby basil um, this is a cute little bottle. Uh, I only uh, say this and I only brought this in because uh, we got second place in a uh, golf scramble. Probably should have had first place, but that's all right. Uh, we, we let one go. Uh, but I got this not just for coming in second place, but I got this for getting close to the pin on a 200 yard uh, par three, basically. And so I got it within about two foot. So... That's more the brag thing. You can, you know, if you need a if you need a fourth for a golf scramble or something, you can hook me up. You can call me. Uh, I'll, I'll I do travel for golf. So uh, this neither here nor there. If you like it, you like it. Whatever. Uh, next on the list is um, <laughs> just the look of this bottle is. <laughs> Is ridiculous. Um, I, I'm. I mean, I'm not gonna say anything. But Buffalo Trace, y'all are ridiculous. Um, this has to be the dumbest looking bottle in all of bourbon. Um, I don't know why. It just. It just feels ridiculous in all of its nature. I mean, just look at this thing. 
It's a 175 that feels like a five gallon jug. Uh, but I did get this and I'm, a, you know, I, I'm happy to have it. I don't know where I'm going to put it. My wife already gets mad at me for uh, having too many bottles around the house anyway. So she said we look redneck because I got bottles sitting everywhere. So what? Doesn't really matter. Uh, next on the list is the Michter's Barrel Strength Rye Toasted. All the good stuff. Uh, this came out just this month, and uh, believe it or not, this is really, really good. Um, had it a few times. I don't know if you can see this bottle or not, but just so you know, I've had it a few times and I've enjoyed it. Uh, really good. Uh, Michter's they're slowly, they're like in my top three of distillery, so I, I, I really enjoy them and most everything they put out. Uh, the thing that I was actually most uh, excited about for myself this month was this uh, Bardstown co collab with uh, Goose Island. Uh, you all know me and my love for beer, and uh, Goose Island releases are always one of my favorites. They just are. Uh, as far as beer goes and to be able to collab with a distillery that I really like and a beer that I really like, I was excited about this. So um, I don't know if we'll review this or not. Probably not because it's not like it's just like a one off and stuff. We, we have a tendency not to necessarily review those. Uh, but if anybody uh, would like a pour, you can come to my house or uh, we can meet up and I will happily share it with you at any given time. Uh, so that is my list for my whiskey haul. Uh, all in all, a pretty good month. Uh, you know, we've, you've seen us over the years. Some months are good, some months are great, some months are just okay. Uh, this was a decent month for me and I'm happy with what I got. Uh, so you'll see Zach's up next and it's just ridiculous. So prepare yourself. All right, so like what we talked about in the intro before, uh, it was a huge month for us here. Uh, in, in the Kentucky area. So um, I know some of you all were in town for either the Bourbon Festival or vacation, anniversaries, whatever. So some of you all got to experience some of it. So that's pretty awesome. Um, this is probably one of the biggest months I've had since doing the channel. I mean, we're, I, I mean, I was counting earlier. I, I got probably about 30 plus bottles, um, which is just wild. So I haven't had a month like that in not a good day. How long? But even though it was expensive, it was an awesome month. We were able to do, uh, we're going to get a ton of reviews out of this. So I'm going to try to talk about the ones that maybe you've already seen through reviews first and then talk about some of the other stuff uh, on the back end. So let's go ahead and start. So the first one, um, which we've already done a video on, so I'm going to post them both at the same time, is the Jack Daniels uh, Heritage, am I saying it right? Twice Barreled? Yeah, the Twice, twice Barreled special release, Heritage Barrel Rye. Um, so this is basically like their version of like a toasted rye. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot whenever I did the review, but I think actually the more I drink on this, the more I'm kind of like not loving it as much as what I had before. So I'm hoping it kind of opens back up in a way to where I enjoy it more, but the nose on it is awesome. Uh, the palate's what's kind of changing for me that I'm not loving it as much. And then this Jack Daniels Bonded Rye is just it's a really good solid ride for the price. It's nothing that's gonna like blow your blow you away, but at the same time, I think it's really, really solid for the price. So all right, next one. And talk about a bottle. That's even gotten better since we did the review. The Elijah Craig Batch C. Is it 2923? Yeah. Or 9223, sorry. Uh this thing, I've been super happy with it, super pleased with it. This takes me back to, I think it was the C batch of either 20 or 19 that I absolutely loved. Um, I've heard some other things too, that there's some odor barrels in this. I know the age statement on it saying 13 years, seven months for the youngest, but I've also heard that there's some odor stuff in here, like some 14, 15 year old, but I don't know if that's true or not. I've just heard rumors of that, uh, but nothing's been confirmed of it, regardless of the age though. You know, it has a really great proof on it at 133, and it just, it hits you in all the right notes that, and it also hits expectations of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. So, for me, I feel like this kind of brings them back to more of their sweet spot, more of the glory of what they should have been. I mean, last year's was, was fine. It wasn't anything crazy, and then, you know, the year before that, I didn't love it. 
Uh, even though I, I never, I've never thought any of them are bad. <clears throat> they just, they were on a really awesome track there for a while and I think they're back on track. Next one, and this is gonna be, I'm telling y'all, this is gonna be Whiskey of the Year contention. This is the Maker's Mark Seller's Age. So this thing has been a battle for me to try to require more of, and this was a battle to try to even get it in the first place. Uh, I wanna give a shout out to uh, Look at Barn Outer Loop. This is actually where I got it from. Uh, I was super just fortunate, lucky to grab one, because um, literally nobody else had them. Um, I had a crazy month in September for a multitude of reasons. And this was like the only spot I was like enough to snag one. So I'm really happy with it. Thank you again to you all out there at uh, Luca Barn Iron Loop. You guys are awesome. Um, this, going back to the whiskey that's in the bottle, is just fantastic. Like I said this in our, re in our review, which will be posted in the description below. It takes me back to like Dusty Notes with Maker's Mark. And I just absolutely love a Dusty Maker's. Um, and this just, it, it hits those notes for me. So it's super exciting. Next one. Uh, this is the Wild Turkey Master Keep Voyage. Um, it's actually really funny. Um, I, so I was able to snag one of these. <clears throat> I, I We did the first one. I was able to get one from a liquor store. And then this one I was actually able to get from the gift shop at Wild Turkey. Uh, FYI, if you're going down to the gift shop, don't go to the one on the map because, or on Google Maps or whatever, because that one's actually being redone. They have a little traveler center down the road by Rick House. It's right across the street from Rick House. You should be able to find it. Um, I was able to snag these. These lasted for a while. These probably lasted three days-ish, maybe four days. Um, they are pricey, which I don't love, but Dan... Dan from Bourbon Junkies and I, we were talking about this, and I just love it. Like, it's not it's not going to be a Whiskey of the Year contender, but this this is hitting that spot where it's like, last year was wild, and I know I'm bringing up Wild Turkey 101 12 year. That was one of my favorite bottles from last year, even though I didn't think it would win Best Bourbon of the Year. Um, but this has just, I mean, it's just, it's so much fun to drink. Has the right kind of sugar notes that I like, it, that rum that's in there. It just, it really supports and shows some awesomeness uh, from it. And the more I also think about it, <clears throat> I might want to argue saying Wild Turkey is some of the best whiskey uh, to refinish in because Wild Turkey 1 was awesome. I really enjoyed the Sherry Cast. I've really loved this. And they've just been, you know, just whenever they finish it with something, it just it hits a lot of great notes for me. All right. Um... Next one, just going to kind of slide these everywhere over here. Um, a lot of Buffalo Trace products dropped over this past month. Uh, and then this one uh, we actually got from a friend of a channel over here. Um, but I was able to acquire a E.H. Taylor small batch, E.H. Taylor straight rye, and then the new batch 12 of Barrel Proof. Um, I, you all know by now I love small batch. I think it's... It's pretty awesome. It used to be a daily drinker of mine before it just got so stupid hard to find. Uh, so I don't I don't really drink that anymore. This though, uh, this takes me back. I, and I know there's gonna be some people that sit there and say, well, you know, a lot of people like Batch 11. Why didn't you like Batch 11? To, to me, and I know to Dave as well, it was just young and grainy and it just, yeah, I just didn't like it. And and I, I tried multiple bottles of it and it all tastes the same. I know it's won some competitions and it's done some, some good stuff for some other reviewers, um, but I just know for Dave and I, just it just didn't hit any marks that we enjoyed. Um, this batch 12 though, it's awesome. It's also a little different. It, it is a smidge different uh, than a traditional E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof, uh, but I was just sipping on this a little bit last night and it's starting to come back around a little bit more of like what you traditionally get out of an E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. So, I really, really enjoy it. Again, we have a review of this. We'll we'll stack that down the very bottom part. So, and I know I'm not really mentioning the rye. Uh, we'll at some point in time we'll do a review of it. But you know, my goal is is to be able to attach that to uh, barrel proof rye when it when and if that ever comes out. Because who knows? Uh, so anyway, so that's pretty much all of the stuff we reviewed or have already previously talked about on the channel. Uh, so now we're gonna start talking about some of the newer things we've gotten that we haven't seen. So we have got the new Remus 7. I uh, was able to acquire this from actually a liquor store over in Indiana. 
a little bitty small one over by my house. So it's weird. I don't know why this one random liquor store, I feel like they get stuff sometimes before like big market of Louisville. And I get that it has to do with the distributor between like Southern Indiana and Kentucky. I get all that. That is weird because they will put stuff out randomly. Um, so this will be exciting to do um, whenever we drop this review. I know, you know, Dave and I always have high expectations for this. We both, I, I'm just a big fan of MGP. He fell in love with the batch five of Remus Repeal. So the Remus Repeal 7, we are looking forward to. Uh, I have not really drank any of this at all. I've sampled some of it out to some friends. And outside of that, I'm kind of waiting to try it for the first time uh, whenever we do the review. So that way you kind of get that first, you know, instant reaction to it. So uh, something really simple. Uh, I got a, <laughs> I did a trade. So I don't know if I, I don't know if we put it in the, rev in the last month's whiskey haul or not. Um, but I was able to acquire one of the new uh, Elijah Craig Toasted Ryder Cup. Um, I was super excited for that. I, I'm actually a big fan of Elijah Craig Toasted. Uh, it used to be a daily of mine before it got really hard to find. Now it's actually kind of came back and it's kind of easier to find now, uh, at least in our area. It's not You can't find it everywhere, but if you know where to look, you can find it. Anyways, I tried it on a bar. And I absolutely hated it. <laughs> like, I, I thought it was thin. I didn't think it was it had a really good profile to it, so I was really disappointed in it. Um, and I had somebody who I knew who was looking for one. He offered to trade me a couple of Blantons for it, so I was just like, sure. And I've already given one of those away, um, so I think this will end up going to another charity thing. Um, but anyways, nothing crazy, just a Blanton. All right, next one. And this one I have been, like, nursing on and sharing with a few people, but... I am super excited about this one. This is the new, uh, well, this is new, but Bardstown, Bur Bardstown Bourbon Company has been doing uh, single barrels, and they've been dropping here locally. Really have enjoyed all of them that have dropped, uh, but this one's super special. So this one is from the Detroit Whiskey Society, and I want to say this right, Woods Wine, I guess that's a liquor store up there in the Detroit area. Um, but we have a couple of really good friends from Michigan, um, Ron and Jim, and uh, Rob and Jim, sorry. And they introduced us to our our friend Ron, who actually works for Barstown. And they did a pick for Detroit Whiskey Society. And guys, let me tell you something. They picked a monster with this. I absolutely love this bottle, and that's why I'm like nursing on it very slowly. Um, I think this was the first one that came out. And like that standard has been set. Now what's cool about this, this is, uh, and they give all the details of it. It's 128 proof. It was on the sixth floor and it's, you know, they give you the mash bill of it and everything else. And they just, I really like the white and the gold labeling on it. I just, I'm just a huge fan of it. And I've, I've really been enjoying all the ones I've been able to try so far with Barstown. And, you know, I'm, I'm just really happy because they, you know, they gifted us this and I was just super excited about it because whenever I tried it up there, if you go back to our pours in the park video where we talked about this bottle here, um, you know, whenever we got to try it, we really did enjoy it and we really did love it and we didn't know we were getting one. So, um, we're very happy and blessed to be able to get that. So thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Next one. Uh, and I've already kind of talked about some of the Buffalo Trace that was dropping, uh, this past month, so there's a huge just seemed like every store got it in our area, or not every store, but like every big chain store with all the Buffalo Trace products dropping between Weller CYPB, 12, Full Proof, Rock Hill Farms, Elmer, all the basic Buffalo Trace allocations. So, um, you know, a lot of it just you know was put out, dropped. Uh, I imagine a lot of it went to bars or regulars at other places. Um, I was lucky enough, I was able to acquire this down at uh, Cox's Evergreen Nulu. Um, so I was pretty excited about that, obviously. And yeah, it, this will go, we'll end up trying this because I know we still have to do for, I, for this year, we're going through all the Wellers. We still have to do CYPB, Single Barrel, Daniel Weller. And if we can find one, I don't doubt that's going to happen. And then WLW, which is crazy that I'm saying that we'll have a better shot against a BTAC than a Weller. But it is what it is. So, anyways, um, yeah, very grateful. Thank you to Cox Ever and Nulu. And yeah, we'll eventually we'll get around trying it. But we got a ton of stuff to review. 
talking about a ton of stuff to review, uh, here's another one that we'll get around to doing. So this is the new Mictors Toasted Rye. Uh, this had, I was super excited when I tried it at the distillery. They had it on the bar at the distillery for like a month. And when I tried it down there, it was awesome. Um, it, I was super excited about it because I thought it had a super rich palate. The nose was really good and it had a finish. And most of these I've tried has not had like a crazy awesome finish, maybe outside of like the 18 version. So I don't exactly remember the, cause they tell you a barrel, uh, the Michter's finish barrel number, it, whatever it was on the bar down there at uh, Michter's. But here's what's crazy. So I tried it down there, loved it. I've tried it at a couple other bars here locally. I don't want to say it's bad, but it's not as good as what I had on that first experience. And I know they say your palate can change and whatnot, but it's just, it's totally night and day different. So I'm not really sure what it is. I'm starting to think, because I've talked to a couple people where some people are like, they're, they're kind of boring. But some people have said they're super rich. Um, so I think there's this crazy wave of differences with some of them. Um, hopefully they kind of get more consistent. And they just kind of like stay up here instead of staying a little bit down here. Um, but we'll see. So we will crack this one eventually. We will do a review on this one eventually. Uh, I'm not sure when Dave and I have, we're really far behind on doing reviews. Um, so, but we are looking forward and we will get this review done eventually. All right. And uh, you know what? Let's just stay on the uh, old Michter's uh, bandwagon here. So talking about one of the distilleries that did a awesome job over this past month would have been oh, Nick Dag out of the way <clears throat> was Nickters. Now I'm very fortunate, like I've said before in multiple videos, I live close to them. I live on the Indiana side and I live about seven, eight minutes away from them. Um, but they put out a ton of the M10 and they put out a lot of the Mictors barrel strength bourbon packages. Um, I was also lucky one time I had my wife with me. So we were leaving to go somewhere and, and you know, I was wanting to check down there because I hadn't dropped anything in like a day or so. And they actually had a package where you get both these and then a small batch bourbon. Um, so I got one and then we got another one. And I'm pretty sure we're going to give, uh, I, I haven't discussed it with Dave yet, so Dave's watching this for the first time. But I think what we're going to do is, is actually give the barrel strength bourbon away. Because uh, this is a Kentucky exclusive for 2023 uh, since we hit our 10K goal. Uh, I know, we're, again, we're really far behind on that. But I thought that'd be kind of cool to give one of those away um, as kind of a thank you for you guys for subscribing and, and helping support our channel and stuff. So I thought that'd be kind of just fun. Uh, but again, you all know how much I freaking love this. This is a bourbon of the year contender, arguably close to the number one spot, if not in the number one spot for me personally right now. Uh, this is really, really good too. Um, it's not this. Again, it's still really good. All right, now I kind of left these these for the uh, last like four-ish, five-ish. All right, so Old Fitz Tenure. Um, I don't want to talk too much about it because we'll have a video coming out explaining kind of me hunting throughout the month. Um, but I was actually able to get this at a Heaven Hill event. Uh, they did a dinner one of the nights for the Kentucky Bourbon Festival. Um, overall, uh, the experience of getting a, being able to hang out with a bunch of my boys and we got to pregame out in the parking lot and have some pours and then just hang around, just have fun, was an awesome experience. It was a smidge pricey. I uh, don't know if I would do that again for the price, but overall we had a really, really good time. Uh, <coughs> We, I'm, I'm sitting here laughing, thinking of stuff I can't even bring up. Um, but they did it out of the rig house. It was super cool kind of atmosphere. Uh, so we are grateful for that. Um, I don't know if we're going to do a review on this. Um, I have tried it. I've not been very impressed with it. It was kind of just muted and boring. That's how I feel about a lot of the old Fitzes, if I'm being honest with you. Um, but let us know in the comments below. I, like, there's some other good reviews out there, like... You know, Matt from ADHD Whiskey has done one. I think I saw somebody else did one. I'm sorry for whoever that is. Um, but let us know in the comments below. If y'all want us to, we'll, we'll, we're very backlogged on reviews. I'm just looking at stuff we have on both sides. 
but let us know. And if y'all really want it, we'll, we'll crack it and open it and review it for you guys. Next one. Um, got a President's Choice 29 and a President's Choice 30. So really quick, uh, was able to get these at the start of the month for September. You know, there's, there's really two things that indicate um, that allocation season started for us locally. Uh, one of them, and it kind of depends on which, which part of the state you live in. Um, because the first one, if you're up here in Louisville, in the Louisville area, a lot of people used to say whenever birthday was released on Forrester, that started allocation season. Because everybody would line up, maybe camp out for the night, sometimes two, depending on how crazy people were wanting to be. And, you know, you got your birthday bourbon for the year and you were done. And that kind of started allocation season. Well, They've, kind of, they've quit doing that, but they still want to honor uh, Mr. Brown himself uh, for his birthday. And so they released a whole bunch of stuff that day. Uh, one of these, the Barrel 29 was one of them. Uh, and they also released other stuff. They released other Barrel Strengths 117s. I think that was it. Maybe some Barrel Strength Rye, Barrel Strength Bourbon. Um, they did some of that. So that was pretty awesome. Um, I just barely made that one. So... Again, always super excited. It's also nice because once you get your one allocated thing at the start of the month, then you're done. So like you don't have to worry about like, oh, am I gonna be able to get there or not? So it's always kind of nice whenever Old Foresters dump something at the end of the month because it's awesome. Uh, the other one, uh, Barrel 30. So for people who don't know, and this doesn't happen all the time, but if you go do a barrel pick uh, with them, sometimes as a thank you for doing a barrel pick with them, they will give you something allocated. It's not always a guarantee. So if you guys are sitting there saying it's a guarantee because of me, you're wrong. But one of the things that they'll offer you sometimes is basically whatever they have. If it's 117, if it's a PC, birthday bourbon, pretty much whatever. Um, and the barrel 30 came from a barrel pick uh, that was offered. So it's I find it kind of hilarious because it's like, hey, you get to go do something that's awesome, that's super rare, that people would love to get which is a single barrel for either a group, a liquor store, whatever it would be. And on top of that, hey, we're off you more allocation. So I, I just find that kind of funny, but awesome at the same time. All right, next one. The Russell's Reserve Single Rick House. Uh, Camp Nelson F? Yeah, Camp Nelson F. I almost, I almost wanted to say something different, but Camp Nelson F. Um, this thing, guys, I, I want to tell you guys so much about it, but I want to wait for the review. I'm going to wait for the review. I'm going to tell you all just really quick. This is better than last year's. Last year's finished 10th for us on the list. I hate the price of it. I hate the price last year. This is like 350 bucks. I am not happy with the price whatsoever. I'll be the first one to say. I would say this is in top four or top five right now. That's how good it is. This thing is awesome. It's amazing. Uh, I got this one in particular from the distillery. Um, you know, Wild Turkey does a pretty good job whenever they, whenever, whatever is going to release, they tend to also put out at the distillery. I, I just wish it wasn't so dang expensive. I wish everything Wild Turkey would just go down in price just because I feel like they're such a blue collar kind of uh, distillery and everything that they stand for and I just feel like the money grab thing is terrible because this is amazing and again I don't want to go too much into it until after the review drops for it um, but as of right now this is a whiskey of the year contender in my book and the last one and we talked about birthday bourbon being one of the Kickstarters for allocation season. Parker's Breakfast is the other one. So this is the new Parker's Heritage Rye. The, this is a 10-year-old cast strength. And guys, let me tell you, if there's a better rye that comes out this year, I'll be shocked. Because this thing is a monster. I love it. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I, <laughs> I barely shared this, and I am crushing it right now. And I have to slow down because it's it, like Dave and I have to re do a review on it. Like I'm trying not to drink anymore until we do the review on it. But again, 
I was able to get one of these at the uh, Parker's Breakfast, and then I've actually kind of been lucky and was able to acquire another one. I'll show you guys in another video at some point in time about that. Um, hopefully that video drops here shortly. So, but anyways, again, this bottle here has just been so impressive, and I love the heavy char rye, and this to me has met those expectations, because I kind of thought in my mind like it'd be one of those. It's not only met those expectations, uh, it's maybe even surpassed them. So, huge fan of it, absolutely love it. And yes, I understand just like this bottle, that bottle, whatever bottle we've been talking about, a lot of these are hard to get. Um, this is not a normal month here in Kentucky for September. Um, I don't think I can recall a month like this ever, even during derby time, which is another kind of crazy month. Um, but guys, I'm, I'm being for real when I say we got a lot of reviews coming. Um, and also I would tell you right now, we got a lot of good bourbon slash whiskey slash rise coming out. Most of the stuff I've talked to you all about today, I've tried all of it. It's good. Like, I'm really happy. I don't know if we've reached, like, some, like, crazy, super special unicorn yet of kind of special, but all of this stuff this year has been really, really good, and I'm really grateful for that because it's been pricey, and if it's going to be pricey, it better be freaking good. So, anyways, leave in the comments below on what you all would like us to try first and kind of give us a list of things or reviews you guys would like to see, and uh, until next time, we'll see you.